Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Mr. Raider Kid here. Uh, welcome back. And it's the day after the Super Bowl. So you know what that means. The offseason is officially begun. We are on our way for 2019. Uh, exciting. Uh, relieved. Glad it's finally over. This has been a really tough year. Um, all around. Just watching a bunch of nonsense. Patrick Mahomes won MVP. Um, you know, like, damn. Our division's, like, getting good, and our team just ended up sucking. So I'm glad it's finally over. It's done. It's over with. Uh, time to move on. Time to look forward and uh, get ready for this draft. This draft's going to be huge. Uh, I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I'm not here to talk to you about you with, about the Super Bowl. I have no comments. Uh, I heard it was boring. I heard the halftime show sucked, and uh, Patriots won. So uh, not much to really talk about. Patriots won the sixth title. Uh, the New England Cheaters uh, set a record with the Steelers for six rings. Not my goat, though. So, um, let's talk about something way more important than that Super Bowl. And that's where the Raiders are going to play next year. Yeah, we got some insight. We got some news. I know a lot of you already know about this, probably. But I don't know if anybody's talked about it yet. So, Raiders report to play 2019 season at San Francisco Giants Oracle Park. Yes, this was reported yesterday during the game. Uh, it is under the impression that the Raiders will still uh, were checking on two other potential sites, uh, but the NFL and the 49ers must approve the move. So the Raiders can't move to Vegas yet, obviously, right? And Oakland is suing the Raiders and the NFL um, for them leaving. And Mark Davis has made it clear that if they were to sue us, then um, there's a chance that we're not going to play there next year. And Oakland's made it very clear that they don't want us there as well. So the Raiders needed some options. They had options like San Diego. Uh, they contacted them. Um, the Niners, they, uh, Mark Davis definitely did not want to play with the Niners at Levi Stadium. Uh, but it looks like they w he wants to play uh, across, the, across the bridge at Oracle Park, which is newly named if you're not f for sure, like, if you don't know that name. Uh, it used to be, uh, I believe, A&T. Uh, A&T. Whatever park, whatever. Anyways, I have a couple thoughts on this, and uh, I'll try to make that quick. But one, one, my my initial thought is, cool. At least we know where we're playing. And uh, then I was like, well, shit, we still got to play in the baseball infield because the Giants play there. Oh, so here we go. So we still got to play another year, seven home games because the eighth is, uh, or the other one is played in London against the Bears. Uh, we still got to play on that baseball infield, uh, which sucks. But just one more year, baseball infield, and maybe we can get out of that. Um, I don't see, I have any really other problem with it. I mean, it's probably better for everybody up there uh, in the Bay. Um, they, you know, it's still very manageable to go watch the Raiders for one more year. It's not Oakland. It's not going to be the same, but... Uh, I mean, they're still in the area, and, and it's one last hurrah. It kind of sucks. It's going to be, you know, it's not our own home, and this is what we're all tired of. Uh, we need our own place. Uh, I don't think, now the NFL and the Niners have to approve. Well, Niners have to approve because, I mean, they have rights to the city of San Francisco. Now, I don't know if this means we need to change our name or anything. I kind of hope not because the San Francisco Raiders is kind of whack. Um but the Niners could veto this and force them to play at Levi Stadium. And I'm sure Mark Davis does not want to do that. He does not want to give any dimes, any pennies to the Niners and the Niners organization. We despise each other. That's just facts. Um, so we'll see what happens. The NFL is probably going to either be for this or, or are going to be on the side of the Niners and make them play at Levi Stadium. Uh, I don't want to play at Levi Stadium. Uh, but what's, what's funny is that the Raiders will actually be playing in San Francisco while the Niners will be playing in Santa Clara, which is about like an hour away, which is really funny. And a lot of people have been flaming um, the Niners uh, on Twitter and just, you know, just going ham. Just like the Raider fans do. Just go ham on Twitter. Um, so, yeah, so I mean, that, I mean, it's good news. I mean, at least we got a spot. Uh, obviously, the Giants are okay with the Raiders playing there. And uh, we'll find out. It's not official yet because the NFL and the Niners need to approve this. And with the Super Bowl just wrapping up yesterday, you know, it may take a couple of days. Everyone's a little hung up on that snooze fest. So that's that. That's where our home games could be at. San Francisco Giants, Oracle Park. I want to know how you guys feel about that, uh, especially you guys up in the Bay Area. Are you happy, excited? Do you hate San Francisco because you're from Oakland? 
from the East Bay or whatever, like what that looks like. I'm interested in knowing. Um, do you, does it matter? You're just ready for Vegas. Um, uh, I'm interested to know how you guys feel about that. One other thing I want to talk about today is how Tom Flores got snubbed of the Hall of Fame. Um, maybe I'm biased. Obviously, I'm always biased. I'm a Raider fan, right? Um, but here's some of the names. Well, here the cl- here's the class that got in: Champ Bailey, Pat Bowlin, uh, Gil Brand, uh, Brandon, or whatever. I can't believe I botched that so hard. Tony Gonzalez, Ty Law, Kevin uh, Maui, probably botched that one too. Ed Reed and uh, Johnny Robinson. I know most of those names. There's a couple people that I've heard of, but never, re- you know, they're older players. Um, but here's my thoughts on this. So you got guys got like Champ Bailey, Ed Reed, Tony Gonzalez. Don't get me wrong, they're great players. I hated the Chief, I hated the Bronco, and Ed Reed was an awesome Raven. But you got guys like Tom Flores who've been waiting patiently, Cliff Branch, who've been waiting patiently and have yet to gotten in. But these guys who just retired not that long ago, maybe a year or two ago, are getting in on first ballot Hall of Fame trips. And rightfully so, I mean they they, they deserve it on, on some level, but at the same time, when are we going to acknowledge some of these guys in getting into the Hall of Fame? Now, uh, I, I believe there's also someone here who is not alive uh, anymore on this list. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm not positive on that. But, 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 uh, like Ken Stabler, man, uh, he did not get to witness, you know, receiving a Hall of Fame uh you know, jacket and ring and being inducted. And that's something I think a lot of these people deserve, especially Tom Flores winning two Super Bowls. There's uh, head coaches in the Hall of Fame. Uh, you know, John Madden, who won one Super Bowl. Tom Flores did it with two. Two teams, two Raider teams, one in L.A., one in Oakland. And uh, along with all the other lists of accomplishments that that man has done. Uh, and right, you know, in a time of diversity, not not so much diversity in a really bad era back then and things were coming along. He was the first Latino head coach. And I think he's still been that since that. I don't know if there's ever been another Latino head coach. And uh, he did that with the Raiders. And that's big. That's bigger than football. Uh, and, you know, Al Davis was very, very adamant about that, you know, especially hiring Art Shell, the first African-American head coach. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out as great as Tom Flores did. So, I mean, I'm bummed about it. I don't know how this system is going to work going forward. I feel like there's going to be more and more players that are just going to miss out on Hall of Fames because you got these great players who are retiring now and are going to get in in a year or two. And you got more guys in the back seat that are going to miss out who are well more than deserving to be in the Hall of Fame. I want to know what you guys think about that, Uh, especially if you're not a Raider fan and you got uh, a favorite player or an oldie but goodie guy uh, from way back when that deserves to be in the Hall of Fame that's not in there? I'd like to know in your comments down below. But that's it for today. I want to talk about where the Raiders are going to play next year, Tom Flores. And, uh, I mean, you want to drop a comment down below about the Super Bowl? By all means, do so. I'm interested to see what you thought. Um, Was there any bad calls or, you know, did it look like it was one-sided? Yeah, man. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm working on uh, I'm working on improving this this ship here, and I'm gonna be banking out some maybe some non-football non-raider content. I'm gonna test it out, see how it does, you know how it goes. I know some of you are really open to it, which is awesome. I really appreciate that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, if you like basketball, Lakers trying to trade for Anthony Davis. Um, I know some of you might be Warrior fans, but I mean we got to compete with you somehow, right? Uh, but uh, Dodgers, you know, Bryce Harper, Manny Machado, who's going to sign where? Baseball season's underway now, too. Uh, if you're not a Dodger fan, cool. Uh, if uh, All right, now I'm rambling. Uh, hockey, the Kings suck. Kings are the garbage right now. They're the worst in the West. That's it. I'm done rambling. I'm Mr. Raider Kid. Thanks for watching very much, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I'll catch you later.